So this is low light footage down by the lake, panning slowly. The OIS on the Nokia and the software picture stabilisation on the Samsung Galaxy S5. The bigger sensor on the Nokia, faster processors for video frames on the Galaxy S5. Trying out the walking test for stabilisation, holding it as close to the centre of the two cameras as I can to try and, on this rig, trying to make the fairest test possible. Let's see how the two stabilisation systems do. The uh, 1020's OIS isn't as effective as the uh, more miniaturised version on the 920, 925 and the 1520, but it uh, should be work better than the software stabilisation here on the Galaxy S5. Let's see what you think. Light levels here are very, very low now. This is dusk. I'm trying to push these uh, phone cameras, video cameras, to the ultimate. So this is a good test. Bluebells, always a challenge to film or photograph. And there's a jet going overhead so you can explore the stereo sound on the two smartphones. Get ambient noise. Let's go in close and look at macro focusing. Of course the size of the jig will mean that the exact framing will be slightly different but uh, you get the picture. Get the idea. Down by the jetty again. Again panning slowly, looking at the colours. Certainly on the screen the Nokia Lumia colours seem to be a lot, a lot more vibrant in the uh, video capture. Let's look at the detail on the ripples on the water. How's the autofocus coping in each case? The duck out there. What I'm going to do is uh, zoom in on those buoys there. Now the Lumia 1020 obviously has the pure view zoom and uh, I think it's four times at 1080p. The Galaxy S4 has got a kind of a pinch and zoom version, uh, also four times curiously. is, And again you can look at the difference there between the uh, software stabilised view from the Galaxy S5. I'm holding this as still as I possibly can on the jig, really really still, I'm holding it with both hands and the OIS, the physical optical image stabilisation on the zoomed version on the 1020. Let's zoom out and back to the one-to-one. -one. And this is real low light footage as you can tell. Interestingly the field of view is very much evident that uh, the S5 is narrower, i.e. effectively more zoomed in. The 1020 is more wide angle, so I'm going to use a bit of that pure view zoom in a video mode here to zoom in further. There we are, that looks about right on the screen as I pan round slowly. On screen, the S5 looks a lot brighter on the, uh, the larger AMOLED screen. Maybe at the exposure is different per frame, who knows? Maybe it's the ISO cell camera. The OIS should still be doing a pretty good job on the 1020 though. When the final MP4 is rendered, then hopefully we'll see just how noisy or how clean these shots are and again we'll put a bit of uh, extra zoom in on both just to give you a bit of real world uh, feel there. This is 1.8 to 2 times zoomed in on each device again looking at stability and looking at detail as I pan round very slowly. And glorious weather at Frimley Park Lodge here with the steam train. Always This is fully zoomed in at four times. Lumia 1020, Galaxy S5. I'll try and zoom out as it gets closer on both devices. It's a swipe down on the 1020 and a pinch out on the uh, S5. And now for some macro, allowing of course for the fact that the two cameras are mounted a few inches apart, so there's some uh, 
discrepancy in subject matter, but you can get an idea of the, uh, the speed of the autofocus and how it performs filming macro subjects. There we are. Have a good sniff, Willow. <laughs> there we go. See what you think. Thank you.